Have you ever paused to ponder on the true essence of love and its profound impact on our lives? Love, a universal emotion, is the invisible thread that binds us together, shaping our relationships and defining our interactions. It is the force that drives us to make sacrifices, to extend kindness, and to show compassion. Love is a powerful catalyst that can bring about transformative change in our lives and in the world around us. Now, let's shift our gaze to a perspective that has, for centuries, offered a rich exploration of love's multifaceted nature. The Bible, a cherished source of wisdom and guidance for the Christian community, provides a profound and enlightening portrayal of love. It uncovers layers of love we often overlook, diving into its depth and breadth, and revealing its transformative power. Many have experienced love, but few have truly understood its depth, as beautifully depicted in the Bible. In the heart of the Old Testament, nestled between tales of wars and kings, lies a powerful story of love, the story of Ruth and Naomi. In the land of Moab, there lived two women, Ruth and Naomi. Naomi was an Israelite who had moved to Moab due to a severe famine in her homeland of Bethlehem. Ruth, on the other hand, was a native Moabite, and she was married to one of Naomi's sons. When tragedy struck and Naomi lost both her sons and her husband, she decided to return to Bethlehem, expecting nothing but loneliness and hardship. But Ruth refused to let her mother-in-law go back alone. Despite Naomi's insistence that Ruth stay in Moab, where she could remarry and start a new life, Ruth chose to accompany Naomi. She pledged, Where you go, I will go, and where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God my God. Ruth's love for Naomi wasn't born out of obligation, but out of a deep and genuine affection. It was a love that chose to walk hand in hand with Naomi into an uncertain future, rather than taking the easier path. Ruth's love transcended societal norms and expectations. It was a love that was selfless, loyal, and unwavering. In Bethlehem, Ruth worked tirelessly in the fields to provide for Naomi and herself. Her hard work, kindness, and loyalty did not go unnoticed. She found favor in the eyes of Boaz, a relative of Naomi's late husband. Eventually, Boaz and Ruth got married, and Ruth gave birth to a son named Obed, who became the grandfather of King David from whose lineage Jesus Christ was born. The story of Ruth and Naomi is a testament to the power of love. It's a love story, but not in the typical sense. It's a story of familial love, of friendship, of loyalty, and most importantly, of selfless love. Ruth's love for Naomi, a love that was selfless and unwavering, sets a profound example for all of us. In the New Testament, Jesus Christ brought a fresh perspective on love, one that challenges us to love unconditionally. His teachings on the subject are profound and transformative, shifting the focus from self-centered love to a love that encompasses all. One of the most significant commandments Jesus gave us is to love your neighbor as yourself. This isn't just about physical proximity or familiar faces, it's about extending love to the stranger, the outcast, the misunderstood, the person who is different from us. This principle of love encourages empathy, kindness and understanding. It nudges us to step out of our comfort zones, to reach out with a helping hand, a listening ear, a comforting word. Jesus' command is a call to extend our love beyond our close circles and touch the lives of others. So, what does the Bible teach us about love? It emphasizes that love is not merely an emotion, but an act of will. It's about selflessness and putting others before ourselves. Love is patient. Love is kind. It doesn't envy, it doesn't boast, and it's never proud. It doesn't dishonor others, it's not self-seeking, it's not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. This is the essence of love, according to 1 Corinthians 13. Love in the Bible is not about fleeting emotions, but about commitment, sacrifice, and understanding. It's about seeing beyond our own needs and wants and truly caring for others. This is the kind of love that can guide our relationships and interactions, making them richer and more meaningful. The Bible's teachings on love provide us with a blueprint for how to love truly and deeply, not just on Valentine's Day, but every day.